I need to build a part that has a corner that's bent. Basically, I'm building this display piece. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's just a flat square piece of material, maybe used in an architectural purpose. And I'm just going to extrude it out, give it a nice dimension, and we're ready to go. Um, and the reason I want to fold the corner could be a number of different things. Maybe it actually has a fold on it. Uh, perhaps it has an appearance on the front, such as this right here. Maybe I have that appearance there. But I want to show that the back is still that, that base material, right? It's just on the fascia. So a couple ways we can do this. Uh, one way to do this would be to use sheet metal, and that's definitely my preferred method. But when I come up to my sheet metal tab, by the way, if the sheet metal tab is not visible, right click to make it visible. But on the sheet metal tab, you can see some of the bends are unavailable for me to use. That's because this is not a sheet metal part. So what I could, could have done is use base flange tab. If I had done base flange tab with this boss extrude, I could have set the thickness of the material and it would have been an enabled sheet metal feature. Uh, if this was a big blocky shape and I wanted to convert one of the faces to a sheet metal part, I could use this one. But for this, it's already flat. All I want to do is just use the insert bends command. And insert bends just takes a flat face. Pick the flat face that you want to be your base face. Click OK and it automatically converts it to sheet metal. Now, if there were some sharp corners in it, it would have turned those into bends with a radius. But now I have sheet metal features, and now all of my sheet metal commands are available. So for this one, I'm going to do a sketched bend. So I'll start a sketch on the face, and I just want to fold the corner over. So I'll just grab this line, give it a couple of quick dimensions, uh, and the, the specifics don't matter tremendously since this is visual, but you want to put that line either where you want the center of your bend to be or where you want the bend to start. And we'll see that here in just a second. But what I'm going to do is go into the sketched bend command. You can do this with the sketch pre-made or you can uh, or be in the sketch and actually launch it from there. For the bend parameters, it just needs to tell, you need to tell it which face is fixed. In other words, I could hold this stationary and fold the other around, or I could hold the corner stationary and fold the rest. That looks pretty good. I mean, fairly close to what I want to do. I want to show how the other side is a different material. Uh, maybe this is a flexible panel. And so I'm going to do, let's say 135 degrees, right? Kind of shows that corner bent around. Uh, I can turn off the default radius, maybe make it a little tighter. Um, I can even change the bend position. Notice that's the position of the bend is right where the line is. That's where the bend starts, or the bend can go center line. All right, so this is looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now here is my visualization piece for my drawing to show that it's metal in the back and would f uh, finish on the front. From here, if I ever need to flatten it out, I just click the flatten button and it flattens it out into a flat pattern. And then I can show the flat pattern or the folded version as needed on my drawing. Hopefully that helps you out.